Matt, was that the kind of game you were expecting? Because Carlisle they really made it difficult one for us today, didn't they? Yeah, I think we probably all woke up this morning, heard the, the, the rain and the wind outside, um, and your mindset probably changes to a certain type of game. Um, a, a team in form in relation to Carlisle, a team who put the ball in certain areas of the pitch, and, and we had to answer a lot of questions today. I'm absolutely, I keep said on Tuesday night, I was delighted, but I'm delighted with the way we defended our box today. Um, centre halves and goalkeeper included in that. A lot of balls came into that area, and we always got there first. Um, I can't remember uh, Jocko having a, a real clear cut save to make. Um, but he had a lot of clearing up to do and it was that sort of game. Um, the conditions were difficult, um, we were under pressure first half and we couldn't get a team up the pitch, um, but I'm really pleased to get ahead and then stay ahead. And, and stay ahead, not comfortably, um, but probably deservedly so, and you, you're always waiting for that second goal to come, um, it just didn't quite happen. And I think especially after the red card, I think Carlisle they almost wanted it more than they did when they had the level on the pitch, didn't they? You can't have a say about professional footballers ever wanting it more at different stages in the game. They wanted it more from the off. Um, both teams are professionally in respect to that. Um, they just put the ball in, in even more aggressive areas when they went down to 10 men. They weren't going to make passes. Every throw in was going in our backs box. Every goalkeeper's kick was travelling a long way. Um, and we had to withstand that. Um, but like I say, they've not really hurt us in terms of chances. And we're just waiting for Nicky Law to put that one in towards the end to, to make it a little bit more comfortable. But sometimes a 1-0 needs to stay at 1-0 um, to give that group of players the confidence they can do it. A word on, on the red card, how did you see that one from where you were? He looked like he put his head into Jake, straight red card. Um, I'm sure they'll have their complaints. Um, it wasn't a particularly niggly game, um, but it was a physical game. And sometimes it, 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 your personality can overflow in certain aspects of the game and it looked like a poor moment from their player, but that's not, not for me to comment on. Obviously it was Tom Parks that got the goal and I think he, he was definitely, from our perspective, the man of the match today, he, he was a really strong defensive performance with him, Pierce, and the other two. Yeah, they had to be. That, the ball was against our centre halves. Um, it was put in dangerous areas of pitch. I'm just delighted we, we defended that box really well. Like I say, protected a young goalkeeper, and then when he was called upon, his hands looked clean. Um, still a few rash kicks, should I say, in the first half. Um, but he's learning his trade. Um, the, the value of a goalkeeper who kicked it a long distance was on show in the second half, and their keeper was incredible in terms of that against a, against a strong wind. Um, and it gives you a, a platform, um, something which is really um, discussed at length at League Two level, how far a goalkeeper can kick a ball or how accurately a keeper can kick a ball. Um, but our centre halves had the most touches today, um, but the most important ones in around our box and we got there first time and time again. And like I say, I just wanted a bit of quality top end of the pitch to make it more comfortable for those back boys. Um, but the confidence off the back of a 1-0 win will, will send us into Tuesday. Can we expect to see any more of Jurkel or is that his time up with us now? Well, he's done pretty well in the two games. Um, we'll assess it. Um, hopefully Reading will want him to, to stay and get that experience. Um, for a goalkeeper making his first two league starts, um, and I know he's an Icelandic kid, but welcome to English football. You know, we're stood here now and you can barely see because of the sun. Uh, there was, must have been rain earlier on and a bit of wind um, and against a team like Carlisle, uh, and that's no disrespect to Carlisle. So great experience for him, um, but a really important clean sheet. And he was certainly commanding the back four. We, we heard him shouting everyone's name. He's likely been with the team for a while. Well, he's got a personality, I think I said on Tuesday night, um, in relation to our recruitment, a personality in so, certain positions of the pitch is, is so, so valuable. And for a 19-year-old kid to have that personality, he's credit to him and credit to his family, credit to Reading. Um, but he's got to keep on backing up now. If he stays with us, then we want him to keep performing well. Um, and until the other goalkeepers come back or look close to coming back, hopefully he'll keep doing that. And it's a long, old trip on Tuesday night and there's potential for government restrictions looming. I can't control that. Uh, it's a long trip, we know that. Everywhere is a long way from, from Exeter, um, especially when it's in the north of England. But will the game look too dissimilar? It could easily be a, a windy night on, on Tuesday night um, for those who travel up there. But for that group of, I keep saying it, relatively young players to come up against a physical test like that and to get through it, that's a real shot in the arm. Almost make it even better that you've ended a team's unbeaten run. They've been playing so well. Uh, a team in form. A team in form. We're, we're not in bad form ourselves. I think we've been unbeaten in, in October. I think I'm right in saying. Um, I'd love that to continue next month. And that's four home wins on the bounce as well. Yep, team going in the right direction.